Welcome everybody to another video of Coding Cleverly. Today's video is going to be a little different. We're going to try to create a project, a small project that's going to be straight to the point. And what I want to try to do today is I want to play music with some of my C++ code. And the thing is that I have to start by creating a separate project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my file directory. Okay, so now I'm in my Windows Explorer and I right click over here and I create a new folder. You could create it anywhere you want, even in your desktop or anywhere. Okay, so I create a new folder and I name it as music. And now I'm gonna go inside the folder and I have to put a song. So there's a song over here that I saved. So I would just uh, like, I would just copy it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my music folder and I'm just gonna paste it here. So I'm gonna paste this. And now what I need is that I have to open up my dev C++. And after that, open file and then you go to new project. And then after here, empty project, name the project. I would name it as conventionally what people do is mains.cpp, apply okay, and then find out the path. So go to the desktop, I would go in my path location, which is music, I would save it here. And now what I would do next is that I would go to the project settings, project options, I would go to the parameters and then the linker. Over here I would write lwin mm and I would apply. Okay, so now after that, I would start writing my code. So uh, I, would, I would like to type all of this. And then the zero over here at the end. Don't forget the semicolon. And what would I like to apply is two more additional header files. One we would need is Windows windows.h and the other one what we need is system mm and then system dot h and then uh, uh, important is to remember those double quotes over here and then after that the using namespace standard in main over here what we have to write is the this is a function play sound and what it does is that it gets some input parameters. It gets a text string. So inside of this text string, you're gonna have to write your song name. And then there's gonna be a comma here, and there's gonna be a null, and then there's gonna be an SND underscore SYNC. This is the sound sync, and then the semicolon here, and then write system, and then P-A-U-S-E, pause, semicolon. Over here, so you're gonna have to write your song name here. If I go back in my directory, you would see my song name is pro, uh, song. So if I look at this closely, it's a wave format. And this is important because in this program, I only focus on wave format. So if you have an MP3 file format, which is mostly common, you would have to convert it. And there's so many online converters out there. So just Google an online converter to convert your MP3s to a wave format. So this program could work on that. So after that, I would just write the song name, which is song. Okay, so over here I'm going to execute compile and run and you can see that it's compiling and We played our music successfully Go try this program out and do give me a like subscribe and share this to all your friends. Peace out